And back to our Fox Urgent, Republican Senator Martha McSally from Arizona says a superior officer raped her when she was serving in the Air Force. Ellison Barber reporting live on this from Washington. Ellison. Hi, Trace. Yes, Senator Martha McSally was the first female combat fighter pilot. She served in the military for more than 20 years. Today at a hearing focusing on how the military prevents and responds to sexual assault, uh, the Arizona senator told the world that she understands this issue better than most because she said that she herself is a survivor. Listen. So, like you, I am also a military sexual assault survivor. But unlike so many brave survivors, I didn't report being sexually assaulted. Like so many women and men, I didn't trust the system at the time. I blamed myself. I was ashamed and confused. And I thought I was strong, but felt powerless. The perpetrators abused their position of power in profound ways. And in one case, I was preyed upon and then raped by a superior officer. McSally went on to say that she shares the disgust of many, that things need to be better, that this is personal to her as both a former commander and also a rape survivor. She went on to say that she does not take this position lightly. And as there are these discussions going on on Capitol Hill about the chain of command and how these sorts of issues are dealt with, she says this, we cannot command change from the outside alone. It must be deployed within. She went on to say this, quote, to that end, I very strongly believe that the commander must not be removed from the decision making taking responsibility of preventing, detecting, and prosecuting military sexual assault. Trace. Ellison Barber, live for us in D.C. Ellison, thank you.